Good afternoon YouTube, how you doing? Well, we're off on a wild camp. We're off up the long wind in the snow. Uh, it's forecasted up there to be about minus four, maybe quite a bit more with a bit of wind chill. So I'm just parked outside Go Outdoors here now. Uh, and I've bought an adventure meal. So I'm using the meths tonight instead of gas. Um, and hopefully we'll have a good night. It won't be too cold, but I've got a feeling it will. There's going to be quite a bit of snow up there, so we're going to park a little bit lower down and hike up. There is three of us going. Um, but yeah, we're going in the same place as what we did last time when me and Adrian did the night hike up and we stayed up on the long wind. We're staying in the same place. So I'm just about to go and pick Kev up now and we will see you when we're on the trial. Catch you later. Okay, so we have arrived at Plush Hill. This is where we're parking now. Uh, we're going to make a trip over to Paul College for tonight. Check this out for a view though. So, we'll leave it there, I'm going to get strapped up, get booted up, because it's freezing cold, uh, and then we're going to get some uh, get some walking in. So we've come layered up, I've got four layers on, uh, my hands are freezing now, uh, so they forecasted minus three, minus four tonight, but then we've got the wind chill as well, which is going to make it uh, a little bit worse. So anyway, we'll catch you in a bit. Okay, so we've come about 600 metres now. And it's quite just not that deep, but I'll give you a quick show round. It's absolutely beautiful up here. Oh man, I'm absolutely bollocks there. Check that out for a view, guys. Stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely stunning, loving it. So the gate to the long wind has been shut. Uh, there's obviously plenty of ice or snow on the road as well. So we parked at Plush Hill and we're coming up over the back way, coming up towards the road, or we'll join the road where it comes up from Rattling Road. This is beautiful, it really is. Anyway, I've seen a bit. So, check this out for a view. Here's the old top man here, Kevlar. And we are just heading up here, parallel with this fence. Absolutely stunning, it really is. Quite windy. Quite warm though now I've got moving. I've got my buff on as well. Look at that sky. Freaky. Right, catch you in a bit. So we're just coming up now, shortly to the shooting box up the long mint. Look right, look at this sunset over here. Really nice. Wind's picking up quite a bit now as well. It's starting to feel the chill in the air now the sun's gone. I'm still out of breath as well. I'm so knackered. But yeah, there you go. There's a 360 of uh, of where we are at the minute. Oh, you're getting that there. Oh, I'm having it. I'm having that. That's stunning, that is. So we're coming up in a minute to the road where the long wind goes down into Rattling Hope. And uh, we'll bring you back when we get onto the road and we'll show you what the road's like up the long wind. Catch you in a bit. Okay, so this is the road now. Coming from the Rattling Hope up to the, uh, the long wind. Good old Kev lad, he's here. And that's the road there going down into 
rattling hope. <clears throat> now they've sh they've shut the gate, but there has been a car come down here, and there's been uh, some cars turning around in the car park here as well. <clears throat> so yeah, we've got Stiper Stones just here as well, and the sun is literally just going down now. So we're going to carry on. Next stop's Pole Bank, right at the top, and then we are literally not far away then. So we'll see you when we're at Pole Bank. Oh, so we've made it. Okay, so it got dark pretty quick. Uh, we're all set up now though. We're just all waiting for Andy to come. So again, I've bought the Banshee 200 out. Kev's in his Nordisk. And we've literally just got a couple of mugs out. Boiling some water with the meths. Just so we can have a nice hot brew. But yeah, it's a lovely evening. It is cold, but the wind, hardly any wind about, which is good keeps that wind chill down off us as well so yeah this is where we stayed last time when me and A did the night navigation and here's the bog that is the bog for the Duke of Edinburgh I believe because normally in the summer spring summer time just in this field here uh, they have a load of Duke of Edinburgh about yeah so so we're all set up we can have some tea in a bit as well. We've got dehydrated chicken curry, so that'll be quite nice as well. I've had that one before. So, once Andy's here, we'll give him a hand to set up. Do you know what? I didn't even bring any frigging beers with me tonight. Plank. Can't believe it. I'll just nip back to the car and get some. <laughs> but no. be good to have a camp without any beers anyway. But, uh, yeah, it would have been nice for a a mango and lemon hula hooch that would have been nice or a boddington's oh, yeah now we're talking right okay so i'm just rambling on as per so uh, i'll leave you with kev with his cock out but it's, he's in his tent anyway we'll see you in a bit okay so we've just had a nice brew we've had a black coffee with some honey in it as well now this is my oaks titanium 900 milliliter saucepan and shout out to the main jockey that custom made the windshield for it so as you can see there's three little prongs that's for the actual saucepan to sit on now the guy who made this it's a custom made one you give him his give him your measurements he also makes the little burners as well now they're a lot smaller than the little Vaseline tubs you get and this is the guy who makes them he's on eBay uh, and he's also got a website as well and I can't think for the love of money what his website was called um, but what I'll do is in the video description I will uh, I will put a link to it uh, so this is just my 650mm Tom Shoe uh, titanium mug as well 
and here is tonight's tea. So tonight's tea, it's only an adventure pack, uh, chicken curry, which it is nice, but when you look at it, it's, uh, it's a little bit daunting because it's not a chicken curry colour. It's all white. But yeah, we're all set up now. Kev's got his, uh, his Nord disc up. He's just having a play with his camera as well. And me, I'm freezing my knackers off at the moment. Uh, Kev's temperature gauge is reading minus four. So at the moment, there's no wind, but there will be tonight maybe, and the temperature might drop a little bit more tonight. So we're expecting maybe minus six, whether it comes down or not. Andy, when he comes, he's got a little USB temperature gauge as well, so he can, uh, he can uh, keep an eye on the temperature overnight and it'll log the lowest temperature which it's been to. So yeah, it'd be interesting to see what it's gone to. But yeah, at the moment it's minus four. There is a damn good bit of snow up here as well. Uh, so yeah. So we're gonna get some, uh, we're gonna think about getting some tea on in a minute as well. Uh, but before that, I think we might have another brew. Then get some tea on. Andy still hasn't turned up, so God knows where he is. Um, he's only short, so he's probably got stuck in the snow somewhere. Right, I'll flip you back round and give you a little 360 pan round of where we are. This is our little uh, area for tonight. So Andy will just be uh, prodding his tent in there like he did last time. We've got Radio 2 on, waiting for Craig Charles. And yeah, that's just our little setup. So we're actually just in Pole Cottage, uh, up on the Longmond. Anyway, catch you in a bit. So Andy's just turned up now, just uh, putting his uh, Z-Pack Solplex, is it? Have I said that right? Yeah. Yeah. 400 and what? 17. 417 grams. That's all it weighs. So, we've just had tea now, me and the big man. Uh, we're just going to get another coffee on the go. Temperature's dropped again, big time. Feeling the cold now, my toes are starting to get a little bit numb. I have to put my thermal socks on in a minute. Which I have got <clears throat> ice is starting to form on the tent as well. That's how, uh, how bad it is. So yeah, the chicken curry was really nice. The adventure food. Left it six minutes to rehydrate. Uh, and yeah, really nice. So I'll be having another one of them. So we'll let Andy get set up and we'll uh, offer a helping hand if needs be. Kevlar is just getting the, the kettle on, ready for another coffee with some honey in. And yeah, no beers again. I can't believe that, no beer. So anyway, we'll leave you with Andy putting his carrier bag up. Whew! Evening glampers. Well, I'm in the tent. My feet, can't feel them, but I've just put my thermal socks on, starting to get some warmth back into them. Uh, Andy's got into his carrier bag, and Kevlar is uh, in bed as well, so. The time is only about quarter past nine, something like that, so I'm going to stick the radio on and have a listen to it. But yeah, my feet are warming up slowly. I'm in my down sleeping bag. My hair looks rough as hell because I've had my hat on. But yeah, it's starting to uh, starting to get a little bit cold out there now with the wind. Check out the hair. Man, that's, that's terrible. Anyway, we're not here to talk about hair. So yeah, I've got my socks hanging up. They're uh, very good, them socks. Really are. Right, this is Dave Outdoors signing off. Mwah. See you on the morrow. Morning glampers. How are you? Woo! Shit, it was cold. It was cold in the night. But I didn't feel a thing. I was very warm in my sleeping bag. I woke up at about four o'clock though. I had to put my hat on. I was at, uh, the ears and the, uh, the five head were getting a bit uh, cold. But uh, got the hat on, went straight back to sleep. But yeah, I think uh, it measured it down to about minus five last night was the lowest. So yeah, here's camp. The man a few words, you will remember him. And yeah, in places, the snow. It is quite deep in places, but look at this for a sunrise. He having it, he having it. Anyway, I'm just going to get packed up now because we need to be back home pretty pronto. So, uh, we'll catch you back on the journey after and uh, get packed away. And we'll bring you back at some views from the top. Yeah, we'll do one of these, ready? Uh...
Boosh. Right, I'm bringing you in. Look at this. Look at this. I'm having it. I'm having it. Look at that. Stunning. Stone Cold Steve stunning. Hey. <laughs> So we're all packed up now. We're just going to head up here to the, the trig point at Pole Bank. So uh, we're all packed down. Uh, we've left no trace, apart from a couple of uh, coffin, coffin prints and a bit of yellow snow in places. And also Andy's all packed down and all of our rubbish is in there. So yeah, cracking little spot we've had. Had a great night, didn't we fellas? Yeah. Kev took a, took a, uh, I'm trying to think of a polite word for it, but he went into the toilet to uh, to see what it's like anyway. <laughs> but yeah, cracking little location. Lovely morning as well. Stars were out in force last night, everything. <laughs> right, catch you in a bit. So the Longming Glider Station's just down here. We've just left. Such a beautiful morning. Give you so this is the road. Very, very icy. Snow covered. If we spin you around slowly, just look at this for a view. Absolutely perfect. We call that Nipple Hill, because it's got a big cairn on the top. Shout out Benny, main boy Benny. We were up there October, I think. And then we've got a couple of old timers up there as well, so I better catch up with them. And the snow is pretty deep here. So yeah, they've had a fair, fair dumping on top at Longwind. Oh man, I just can't get over that, that's stunning. Right, bring you back at Pole Bank. So, as I said, I'd bring you back from the top for a Pole Bank. Just have a quick spinny round. So now we're looking Stiper Stones area, just all along here. Yeah, nice little tamps. On the distance here, you won't be able to see it, but there's a load of uh, wind turbines. I have a feeling that could be my Huncliffe. Kevlar with his super duper camera again. And yeah, so there we go, there's a 360 of where we're at the minute, uh, the highest point on the long wind. Absolute stunning, it really is. Our normal spot is well these pine trees just here in the distance or to the right of it just on the brow that's our normal little spot right there anyway i'll leave you with these views okay so we left pole bank quite a bit ago she just got my phone out just to do a video we uh, said on the google saying it was minus three where we are Luckily though, the wind chills kept down, there's only a slight little breeze, but the sun's coming up. Absolutely stunning. Sorry if I keep saying it's stunning, but you have to be here to, uh, to appreciate it. Okay, so we're literally just coming up to the road now where uh, you can drop down from the Long Mind into Rattling Hope. Again, snowed over big time. So, I'm going to carry on walking, we've probably got about another half an hour left we get back to the car and then we'll bring you back with some views when we get to the car I probably won't do much filming now because the battery's dying out on the uh, on the old blower but uh, we'll catch you back at the car ta-da oh so we're back in the car fresh out as we've come down the wind's picked up quite a bit so we've come from all the way up over there we have uh, we'll give you a spin round towards Shrewsbury Telford area there's the Reekin and Shrewsbury's just over here. 
So we've had a damn good camp we have. Uh, cracking, we first snow picked and we enjoyed it. But now, I'm that cold. <sighs> we have to get into the car, I'm freezing. So we will see you on the next camp. If you've managed to stay with us during this video, thank you very much. And we will see you again on the next camp. Take care.